Good morning, I'm Matt Jones and I'm in beautiful Australia for the first time to ride, yeah I'm actually riding this time, Red Bull Hardline Tasmania. Now Hardline, for those of you who don't know, was born in Wales 10 years ago where the gnarliest riders on earth said they need something new to really test themselves which I don't really understand because World Cup downhill races are already mental, but we're talking nasty jumps, massive drops, just awkward features all crammed together. That is what Red Bull Hardline is about. And this is the first one that's gonna happen in Tasmania. Now I'm racing it and I'm not a racer, but we're about to go up for first practice and see the course for the first time. And the words on the lips of all the best riders in the world are, it's, it is crazy, it's gritty, it's hard, and you have to link it all together at race pace. So to say I'm nervous is an understatement, but I'm here, let's get locked in. It's my first time stood here and it's way bigger than I thought. Like when you ride it, it feels big. When you look at it, I can't believe it's in the course. Like how do you practice for this, you know? There's just the consecutive back-to-back -back massive features that take it out of your body, take out your arms and you have to link together. That's what makes Hardline so technical and this is just like such a central piece that I've been so worried about but me and my bike handled it. The grip of skills elevated, it's time to get down, It's not actually a great place to be stood on the edge of this. The takeoff's really downhill so you don't really get any chance to set up because you're locked in from back there. Like no one could stop on the edge of this. And it's a legit clip. I'm gonna hit it again, which feels better than looking at it actually. And then the next section is Baxter's Highway, which is immense, like the fastest flat out pump track ever in a downhill track. So I think we're gonna get an FPV shot racing through there. So I'm aborting this, I'm not standing on this anymore. Even a snake couldn't survive that rock. One of the most eye-watering features on course and then come out of a corner and there's another jump which would be probably not allowed at most bike parks so <laughs> quite yeah it's amazing how much they can no they can cram into one hill really just have a minute uh went a little too far would you like me to hold riders at the start then? Fair I broke a wheel on impact. The yeah, She's I don't want to hike up again. Go. Yes, I do. <laughs> not rolling. <laughs> People looking from the outside in, it's pretty easy, like, start home to say it looks easy, but as soon as you get here and you see, like, the sheer size of stuff, it's just, you take a step back and you're like, whoa. We all bounce off each other and that's what makes us able to do it in this yeah. small group and environment, but, yeah. <laughs> We're pretty gnarly, I just hope people think we're gnarly. <laughs> gap this thing is monumental it's always one of the most daunting features it literally jumps a road well more than a road 
we're going to use the Bosch laser and see how big it actually is because there's been a few rumours floating around. Stand where you think you actually have to land. It's, lit it's actually got crosshairs on it so I can get a really... Yeah, you're in my line of sight. 19.8 metres. Want well, anything shorter than that and your bike snaps. It's brilliant. It's 20, really, you have to go 20 metres. You know, I'm definitely intimidated by this one. Road gaps seem like the norm now, but this one's, there's something about it. It's like the huge case pad, really. You can't afford to go short on this. And the rolling actually starts a long way back, so I need to watch, need to watch a lot of people ride this before I do. Did the road gap, so all the bolts on my bike are tight, that's for sure. Part of the gang now, we're rolling on to the next big one. Like it's the main dish and not the condiments Anonymous, pessimist, I have you feeling ominous Thoughts when you fought so hard to reach your prominence Cause anyone can slip up or trip up We all wanna switch but sometimes you throw a brick up This is the final feature and one that a lot of people have been talking about 70 foot dirt jump, okay? But there's so much running for this You need to gather speed from miles up the hill All the way from the road gap really So people are talking about the wind The weight of riders, like kind of the bigger guys are going to carry more speed Brooks has gone 100 foot on this thing, so I don't think you can possibly go too fast, but casing it is not an option, so it's probably one of the jumps I'm most nervous about. And if I fall, I can fall down and stay there and lay there and lie to myself like I'm okay there. The sacrifice in life is it don't play fair, so stand tall, stay involved and tell them take care. When circumstances run it rampant, be strategic to beat it, coming out with a gambit. What looks like a loss right now is an advantage. My vantage point of view is I always go set the standard. box ticked for me jumping that a lot of people have been nervous about it I'd say this is the feature that's taken the longest for people to overcome because the speed coming in it feels like insane it's astronomical it actually feels too fast and someone's had a speed gun on it and there's a range of 70 kilometers an hour to 77 which probably explains why people are landing all over that landing so I'm stoked to have done that and overall this track has it all honestly it's a proper racetrack it's loose it's wild there's line choice this is going to be the most genuine racetrack we've ever had at a hard line and I'm honoured to have ridden it. Watch the live stream on Saturday 24th. It's going to be a wild one, legends.